God desires that we are completely, confidently, firmly, consistent in all things. Consistency is a function of conscious effort to ensure that you value, respect, and enforce diligence in whatsoever that has been entrusted in your hand. The realms of the spirit are not for casual people. The realms are, f- are dimensions of God that are controlled by laws and deep spiritual principles and activities that determine the future of endeavors. Now the Bible says my people are perished for lack of knowledge. Every aspect of God's promises is attached to a certain spiritual law. You know that, you see, you know, sometimes we want to perceive God as a man. God is not a man that, that puts off the light and puts on the light. He, he puts off the light when, when you've messed up. Then he, he owns it and offs it. No. God is a God that loves self-sustenance. Every time he creates a thing, he builds that thing with an innate capacity to self-develop, self-sustain, or self-destroy. Every creature of God has the capacity to sustain itself and also capacity to destroy itself. So God is not just going to say, oh, okay, uh, uh, you know what? You've just messed up, so I'm going to kill you. No, you would do things that will kill you. The ability to self-kill is within every living creature. The ability to self-live, to self-success or succeed or whatever, that you ever want to become is imbued within us. So success is not a wish. Success is a principle. It's a function of principles. My people perish because they lack revelatory knowledge of the realms. They have become captives, prisoners, of natural, physical illusion. So, so the, the forces from the invisible realms have maximum influence, manipulation, intimidations, harassments, and of course, oppression on God's people. The reason is because the God's people have refused to war and to understand how to capture the invisible realms. There are powerful realms, habitations, spiritual abilities that man has been created to unlock, activate, influence, and cause to manifest certain plans, blessings of God in the physical. Every time you look at yourself, I want you to see yourself as a channel. You you are a channel, you are also an activator. You carry abilities to activate things in the heavenly realms and cause them to manifest on earth. You know, Satan is such a a very crooked, crafty creature. He knows how to use disabilities to work against us. He knows how how to use you as a key to unlock certain heavenly realms and bring manifestation 
of his evil ways and thoughts. Every evil that ever manifests on earth came through the ability of man. Man is the authority that unlocks physical manifestations on earth from in the invisible realms. A lot of things have truly manifested on earth through your ignorance. My prayer tonight is that the devil will not be able to continue to use you or to somewhere somehow influence you to produce manifestations here on earth. Come on. <laughs> the worst enemy that can that you don't know want to allow to influence you is Satan using your ignorance to create spiritual enmity or enemies that will work against you. There is an immaterial ability in us to unlock manifestations on earth. The Bible calls it the power that walketh in us. It's an ability, it's power. You know, it unlocks invisible things to take visibility on earth. The power that walketh in us unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask according to the power that walketh power that walketh in us so there is a power that walks in us that when we know how to use that power to capture the workings in the spirit realms then it will breach the release and manifestation of immaterial things into material expression or tangibility 95% of frustrations we have in the body of Christ today is a function of hoping in God over some things that never materialized in the physical Imagine the frustration you rejoiced in hope. You are excited in anticipation. You sowed your seed, you prayed, you were high in the spirit because you were anticipating a certain miracle to happen. One year comes and go, two years came and went, five years went and nothing happened. That puts a man into frustrations. There is power on the inside that connects us to the invisible things of the spirit that causes it to conceive and come in a manifestation on earth the bible says set your affection on the things above so look at these things affection imagination thoughts and meditation they are powerful tools that can unlock invisible things to become visible on earth don't play with those powers they are abilities within the man that can interact with the realities in the invisible realms to bring manifestations on earth. If you are not in charge of your imaginations, if you're not in control of your thoughts, and if you're not in control of your speech or tongue or meditation, strange, unexpected circumstances, incidents, and problems 
will begin to manifest in your life. Because you did not take charge of these aspects, these abilities that are within you. So this is your, I, these authorities are so powerful that they can unlock certain things in the realms and bring them into manifestation. And, so, and, that, and that's what the Bible says, set your affection on the things above. Meditate on the word of God day and night. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So when you're thinking, you begin to comprehend, you begin to open portals for certain manifestations from the invisible realms to the visible realms. So protect that aspect of your spirit because Satan also is acting something in the realms. And once your thoughts captures that action, it will manifest on earth. Just as Jesus is doing great things in the realms and we are capturing what he's doing in the realms, it's also important that we gauge our thoughts, our minds, our hearts. Protect our hearts and thoughts so that they don't sway and go contrary to that which is not of the spirit of God because once your imaginations and thoughts capture that activities of the devil in the realms it becomes a quick immediate fast teleportation into physical manifestation I'm not sure if you're getting me don't play with your consciousness they are channels of manifestation when a man steps into what I call spiritual perfection he steps into a southern dimension of God which is of course that would cause the devil to lose a certain significant influence in the heavenly realms listen there are different layers of thrones or what I call heavens. Please, I want you to understand that heaven is beyond a habitation. Spirits don't have a room to sleep. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, 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 we humans want to perceive everything. In fact, these fallen humans, we are in the lowest stage of consciousness. Yes. The fall in the garden was not only the fall of death, it was also the fall of consciousness. Yes, it was. Man is in the lowest, to the point that even the venom of a cobra will kill you. A little cobra. Do you know the value between you and a serpent? I'm talking about literal serpent. Who is valuable? Between you and uh, scorpions or lions or bears, one little stink of a black mamba, five, 20 minutes, you're dead. <laughs> That's just how inferior you are in this natural world. In the Garden of Eden, man fell. And there were multiple falls. In one, in one fall led to multiple falls. Man fell consciously. Man fell visually. Man fell of his hearing. Man, man hardly could hear the voice of God. Man fell short of the glory of God. Man fell in so many ways. In other words, man lost multiple different kinds of thrones in the heavenly realms. And there is an ascension coming. The only way we can regain places where we left and fell from is ascension. 
And that means as we ascend, Satan falls. So if we are not ascending, Satan will not lose his stolen thrones in the heavenly places. There has to be an ascension. There has to be ascensions constantly as we ascend into our God's given thrones, something will begin to shift. Satan will begin to fall. There has to be an exchange. The throne belongs to us. We are kings unto God. We are prince unto God. In other words, we have thrones with God. But somebody is sitting illegally on our thrones. And we must engage legally against the forces of the devil and take our position in the realms of God. Can I hear? Amen. Look at the sons of God. Now there was a throne that Jesus Christ regained the moment he was born. The Bible says in the book of Luke, and Jesus says, and I beheld Satan fall like lightning. And we have heard so many eschatological preachers talk on that, trying to refer that to the fall of Satan, you know, when he was an archangel. <laughs> Come on, that's completely out of context. It's not true. Christ said, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. It was the moment he was born. He ascended a certain throne. And Satan lost that throne. Yes. You see, every throne must be regained legally in the realms. You know why Jesus would have to regain a certain throne that was vacant in the realms? that should have been under the monopoly of Satan. It is because Jesus was born with that sin. So he didn't have the corruption of the first Adam. Then he regained that throne instantly the moment he was born. Satan lost a certain throne in the realms. He lost it and Christ sat there. But there, there were still lots of thrones, many thrones that we had not yet regained. But I thank God that when Christ was born, he had a pure blood. The first man that had no sin. So he gained back a certain throne in the realms, in the heavenly realms. And from there, he began to function and operate effectively as a king. Ascension is important if we are going to overcome the monopoly and manipulation of Satan in these last days. Mastering realms is one of the fundamental moves of God in these last days. And knowing how to unlock the invisible realms to download or to bring to manifestation the invisible things would be one of the most efficient ways to see the kingdom of God manifest and establish here on earth. War against the beast of Europe with the bond servant of Christ John. 11th and 12th July 2024. Day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session, 9 a.m. Strictly for ministers. Evening session, 6 p.m. Open for everyone. Venue, PWA Silverdome, Van der Hagenstraat, 2722, NT Zotermeer, Netherlands. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. The Tribe of Fire presents... International Ministers Conference.
with the bondservant of Christ John. Dates, 27th through to the 29th, August 2024. Session times, day one, 6 p.m. Day two, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Day three, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. Venue, 284. Four Trekker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. See you in the realms.